Nosotros papaya to you, my friends, the sleepers of the Slept Kingdom. We have a very, very, very special episode today. We have the return of fan favorite Harlan Williams. Also, if you want to help out the show, make sure you use our sponsor codes, viore.com slash belly, brooklinen.com. Use promo code TIGER20 to get $20 off, plus free shipping on your purchase of $100 or more. And also, BetterHelp. Get 10% off of their first month at www.betterhelp.com slash belly. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, click that QR code or scan it, actually, uh, to get your free Tiger Belly collectible or hit the link down below in the description. Enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, you, you're getting him all the zoomies now. He probably can't get stay. Get him up. Bring him up. He's getting the zoom zoom. <laughs> I think we might have to put him down is what I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to eat him? I huh? just put him to sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you do with him? Just You would stuff him? We could stuff him? We could stuff him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you fill him with? What would you fill him with? Cheetos? Probably stove top. Stove? <laughs> oh, stove stop. Yeah, that's Stuffing. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, he'd smell good, but he'd be dead. Yeah. And it would remind me of a family gathering. <laughs> I love your hat, guy. Hey, guy. Guy. <laughs> guy, for a yeah. real guy. Guy. Uh, can, should I can it up? You don't, you don't like cans or no? Oh, I love I live for cans. Yeah, put them on. You put them on the other <laughs> way. Two words, of... Raquel Welch. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you maybe do it I the other way her. so the oh, wire's right, not... right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Twist you your look sister. Dumb. I got it. You look dumb that way. Twist your sister. <laughs> yeah. Twist your sister? God. Good band in the 80s, man. Oh, man, that guy's hair looked like Cher stepped on a landmine <laughs> Princess <laughs> Diana's living room. <laughs> Exactly like that. Bro. Exactly. Yeah, man. Oh wow. Wow. What's up? We got Zilla. We got y- yeah, hands. We yeah, got, yeah. Got got the crush, bro. Yeah, we can talk about the crush in a second. We show the T-shirt to. Uh, I will when I introduce okay. them and stuff like that. Oh wow, party. What do you mean? <laughs> It's just like there's a party happening. Here <laughs> there's right still now. party here, bud. Bro, I'm partying hard right now. <laughs> you are. I've I've been to your parties. I like them. You yeah, you've been. We've been. Yeah, yeah you've so been. Oh, you went to one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Power slam. A fourth yeah. of July. Yeah, I, I got slammed oh, yeah. real you bad. Got there. Rave. Yeah, you got raved. Yeah, raved out. Got some priests there, and you got rolled. Hard. <laughs> I got rolled up. You, you like, been rolled by fucking priests or what? Hell yeah, yeah. Glendale <laughs> Galleria parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they hang out there. Right? Man. Tan van in the back with the teardrop window on the back. Right. I was skipping there. Are we on? Because I don't know if I should even talk about it, this. But yeah. I was skipping. I, I'm a health nut, and uh, I, <laughs> I, I skip. I, I, walking's too boring, and running's too hard on the bicuspis, uh, lateroid, <laughs> yeah. collaterals. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So I skip, and it's just the right blend. And, right. But no one likes a skipper. Yeah. So Bobby, you know what? Lee, I, you oh. and I, we frolic together, though. We frolic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frolicking is good with you. We have fun frolic in that uh, meadow. We we found a meadow. Black eyed Susie's yeah. buttercups. Uh, wild. Mark daisies. Meadows' backyard. Mark Meadows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The chief of staff. Oh, Mark God. Meadows' backyard. We frolic there, and uh, we oh. were going to insurrect. Anyway, let's start. Let's, let's go ahead. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome again, again and to the Tiger Belly Party. Yeah. And I'm the I, DJ, I, DJ. I, mm, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, what is happening? Yeah. Wow. And, and we, got, we got, I'm not done. Whoa. And I have to introduce you, don't say shit. We got Gilbert in the house with his face. It's flat. I didn't say that, man. That's racist towards your own people, man. My bad. We got Georgetown. <laughs> nothing interesting to say about him. <laughs> He's just... The mic's not even on. That's so fucking sad. <laughs> it, trying to get yeah, George? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Do not. He had this opportunity. The mic wasn't on. <laughs> it's just a sad moment. And let's just leave it at that, all right? Don't say anything. Say what you're gonna say. Uh 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 the white nothing. Mm, it's worse the second time. Ooh, you gotta oh, should have kept that, the first one. Let that sit, dude. Oh, that hurt. Anyway, Kalila, my best friend, my life partner. Put it uh, here. High five. <laughs> we've got 
we've got somebody that's uh, ridiculous. Uh, I'll tell you why he's ridiculous. <laughs> Sometimes when he brings me up on stage, he goes, my son's coming up. And, <laughs> and he goes, tomorrow morning he's transitioning. <laughs> Bobby Lee. Sometimes he brings me up as Sarah Silverman. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You do like it. Yeah, I do like it a yeah. lot. Um, he's the one guy that sits in the back row of the OR. And you and I do a lot of fucking a little play. We play a lot. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I'll say, what's up, man? And you'll say something ridiculous like, where are your corn chips, husko? <laughs> yeah. Or something like that. And I'll go, I don't know what you mean. That O. And you get physical with me a lot. Like, you, like, punch me and pinch me and... And push me and stuff. Yeah, I like doing that. You're very because like, it's, I, I get excited to see you. I know, but I feel like you're testing your perimeters with me. Yeah, like I haven't think, gone sexual though. You know, no, no, never, never, it's never, never sexual. It's just yeah. it's like the way a grizzly bear kind of checks things out. It kind of you know <laughs> like a mock charge. And it sees <laughs> mock charge. Wait, wait, grizzly bears do that? Yeah, most lot of big animals do. Oh, a they mock do. Charge. They mark, they or if you're at a golden uh, corral buffet, sometimes fat, <laughs> fatties will rush. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, that's what you mean. Mock tar. Yeah. Yeah. Mock tar. That's yeah, what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. bear reference didn't get me, but the fucking Golden Corral, dude, that really got right. me. Have you ever been there? I love it, man. So good. I tripped and fell once face forward into the Brussels sprout. <laughs> and yeah. I came up and they're on my eyes. <laughs> And someone thought I was an owl freaking out, <laughs> eyes popping out. It was really. It, it, that's probably a true story, man. And they, they, they have. Here's the dishes at uh, Golden Crawl. They have ribs, like roast beef, mm. mashed potatoes, and an actual bowl of cholesterol, like <laughs> liquefied cholesterol. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the same as like a hometown buffet? More like a homeless town. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's introduce our guest. Yeah, um, he brings me up as that. You know, he's been in a bunch of movies. Um, scene stealers. Mm -hmm. You're a scene stealer. Yeah, you said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, he's done a podcast before when I did Premium Blend. He was mm -hmm. Premium Blend. He was the host of the show. That I, It was my first TV spot, one of my first TV oh. spots. And he didn't say hi to me that night because we didn't, weren't friends then. But um, <laughs> it's only later in life we became friends. And then um, he's also, we will, I'd like to talk about it, not in detail if you don't want to, but... He might have a movie that he's doing that he maybe wants me in. <laughs> yeah, we can, <laughs> yeah? can chit-chat about, chit -chat about it. it. Yeah. And also, can I just say this? Oh, my God. I love his shirts. And he wrote, he always, he always makes original shirts mm -hmm. for people. I don't know how much they cost. I don't know how long they take. But this one he made, and it says, I love Tiger Belly. I with love the tiger. my Tiger Belly. I love my Tiger Belly. And there's a tiger with a little belly there. <laughs> and, um, dude, I've wanted one of these shirts for so long. You know that, right? Yeah, I've been asking yeah. you, dude. Well, I wanted to wait till sometime special, and this is it. So <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I draw them right on the shirt. Yeah. And, uh, were you loved uh, as a kid? Not not really. <laughs> I, I mean, were you, like, hugged and pampered? No, not, no I wasn't. No. Wow, you're getting right to it. Okay? <laughs> no, no. Because uh, here's wow. the thing. I don't know anything about your upbringing. Right, right. Right? I don't know what your dad did. So I want to ask you about the, about the sure. past, right? Anything you so want. So what did your dad do for a living? So my father... Harlan Williams, by the way. Harlan yeah, Williams. Harlan. I didn't say his Thank name. Thank you. Harlan Williams. Thank you. Yeah, Thank what? Crush. You drink Crush? Crush. What flavor crush, is that? Crush. This is uh, grape, but I call it rape because it rapes my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. So that? rape drink. Rape drink. Yeah, by yeah, Crush. Yeah. Like, just for me. Just That's for just me. for you, yeah. Yeah. What did your dad do? So my dad was a lawyer... Really? And my dad was a politician, mm. and he was the equivalent to the attorney general here. In Canada, it was called the solicitor general. Oh, in Canada. In Canada, it's not called the solicitor general. So my dad was the solicitor general, and then he was a member of parliament, and then he was also a lawyer. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Yeah. What did yeah. your mom do? So my mom, wow, what didn't my mom do? My mom was an <laughs> author. Wow. My mom was a... Uh, a uh, librarian. She was a marriage counselor. Mm. Wow. She, uh, she did everything. She was a singer. She she did. She, my mom did everything. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like a good upbringing then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more. It sounds good. Yeah. You know what? They were great parents. Great, great, wonderful uh, yeah. folks. My dad. Uh, we call them Hallie. His name was John, but we called him Halley because uh, you could smell him coming. He had horrible halitosis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> but uh, no. <laughs> 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 Allie. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allie. But uh, he, they were, they were really good parents. They were gr- great people, wonderful people. Um, four sisters. Wow. You have four sisters. Four sisters. Two younger, two older. So oh. I was squashed in the middle. The only boy. The only boy. Man. You know what? I sense that. You do. Yeah, you have a very just like effervescent kind of like. I always feel happy and like safe around you. Wow. How about or, that? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Good. Well, you, you genuinely are. I have to be honest with you, and I can't say this about a lot of comedians. You and I've never heard a bad word about you. Wow, that's ever funny. not one thing. Oh, and number thank two, you. it's a miracle for a comic. It's a miracle. And number <laughs> two, um, I for some reason I trust you. In, like if I had, if I robbed a bank, <laughs> right. And I came to, I know where you live, right? I went to your house. Yeah. I go, hide this million dollars from me, Matt. You know what I mean? I think you would hide it and then mm-hmm. not spend a dime. And then 10 years down the road, you know what I mean? I would I would hide it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know if I'd ask either. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, like when someone just drops $10 million, you know, <laughs> yeah. A, they got the best uh, scratch lottery card at 7 <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. Or, you know, Wells Fargo was stock just went down. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I wouldn't ask. I'd just say, you Bobby, just do it. if you need to hide 10, 10 mil, yeah. daddy's going to uh, let you dig a hole and uh, <laughs> bury it. Because knowing would make you an accomplice. It's safer not to ask. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. I, I would just let you come in and. and <laughs> Dig a hole and. But would I, would I have to do anything for you? No, no, no. Wow. That, that's that's friendship, man. When you you don't you don't ask for thanks, you don't ask for anything in return. Yeah. And uh, here's another reason why I know you're a good guy. You hang out with Orny Adams. Yeah, Orny. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I love Orny. Yeah. He's yeah. complex though. Yeah, we're all complex. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. all incredibly complex. He's a complex guy, but I get Go Orny when I talk to him. Yeah, I fucking get the guy. Yeah, he's... his neuroses. We're similar in many ways. You yeah. know what I mean? He complains a lot. He asks a lot of <laughs> questions. Yeah, like why am I not? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You know, I mean, he has the same kind of tone that I have. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's wonderful. Orny's Orny's one of the guys, and I tell him this all the time. He's he's in the comedy business, but he's such a He's such a craftsman. Oh, my God. He, he's a guy that, you know, a lot of people nowadays just kind of fling it and wing it. But yeah. Orny's a guy who meticulously sits down and structures a joke and structures an act. and Writes two, three hours a day, wakes yeah, up with yeah. the coffee. Wow. wow. And, like, I remember one time I was at, I, I was at the improv and he goes, I, I got to do this avocado bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I go, why? I wrote it today. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Wow. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. He, he uh, goes, I have no punchline for it. I have no idea how it's gonna go. But he's really a real comic. I think he's a yeah, real comic. He really is. He's hard to follow too. When he's on fire, dude, that guy's great. But so are you. Well, me, well, me and Orny have a thing. He, he actually just texted me the other day saying, No one can follow me. And I said, I can, no problem. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, li- I, 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 he, and he knows this. I like following guys that are really good. Because, you do because it makes me kick it up a notch. You know, I, but, I love it. But I love also, it. you are so. I honestly, I can't. This is the honest truth. There's no one on planet Earth that I can can compare you to. You're just. I mean, it's like the your crowd work. <laughs> is insane. Like I have no idea. Do you make that? I mean, I have no. You know what I mean? I mean, I can't even like. You, know, you mean, hey, 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 sweetie, are you smiling? Or do you have mashed potatoes in your ear lobes? <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, that's yeah. your impression of him. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know something like that. You know what I mean? Classic. Yeah, classic hey, Carlin. Hey, you have finger feet for feet. You know what I mean? I don't know what am I. You know what I mean? But yeah. I can't do it. You he does try, it. You should try it. Yeah, hey, yeah. well, I'm doing it right now. Good. Hey, your orange is like the or- oranger than most orange. But if that's how you're gonna go, call Trump. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I'm just making it up. Yeah. I can't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but how do you come? Thank up? you. I, I don't know, man. I just, I just let it come over me. I, I, I sort of open my mouth and let stuff fly out. And yeah. I, I try not to think of it. I let it just, just channel through me. Whatever, whatever it is, whatever. And you accuse people of doing things that they're not doing. Like, <laughs> you'll go. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Can you not look at me? Uh, yeah. Or, or excuse me. 
clap. Don't clap. You're clapping too loud, sir. Yeah. Or something like that. You know what I mean? Anything goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just like to make it up in the moment, man. And and so you don't write your shit. I've never written down a joke. No. Mm -hmm. I've never written down a joke. Wow. Yeah. I I just don't believe in it. I I. I find the process of doing stand-up, picturing someone writing, and I hope Orny doesn't kill me for this, but <laughs> picturing somebody writing or typing a joke, it, it just it's too technical to me. For me, it's all about flow. It's just about the spirit, like you were saying earlier, you know? It's just so I, I approach it from a different vantage point. But you do have an idea, right? Like when you're driving to the club. You'll go, you know, I'm going to talk about, you know what I mean? Uh, the the backs of owls. I don't know what you talk about. <laughs> Sometimes. You know, a lot of the times I, I write my stuff sitting, watching, waiting to go on stage. So we usually get there 15, 20 minutes early. And, uh, <laughs> Why'd you look at it like that? I felt a real like... Uh, yeah, tell me about it. I don't know. Is it leprosy? <laughs> I felt like something Ca just dropped off your body. Psor psoriasis. psoriasis. Oh, that's psoriasis. close. Okay. Yeah. Like wow. leprosy junior. Yeah, yeah. Not to be confused with Carl's junior. Uh, yeah, I, it wasn't. But uh, yeah, uh, I've never dr driven by a leprosy junior anyway. But uh, I uh, imagine a guy with leprosy working at a drive through. Like he hands you your bag and his uh. hand comes with it. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't give it back. Yeah. Because I was just like, a, like it's some sort of like prize, like a happy meal. Well, I'd be afraid to open my bag of food because his hand would still be clawed, and you'd have to like go like this to <laughs> to get your into your fries, and yeah, your yeah, burger. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that would be traumatic for me, I think. And just that he didn't do the friendly wave goodbye. Hey, thanks for coming in. But <laughs> with his good hand, just be a nub. You know? Oh, be like, yeah. <laughs> oh, his nub. Yeah, yeah. I never think about. Why do you think of stuff like that? <laughs> he makes me. <laughs> Right? right, right, right. He's a conduit for insanity. Yeah, right. He just gives an energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, dude, <laughs> when you talk in there, right, you got to make sure it's on because when you open your mouth and no one can hear you, it looks foolish. I told Gilbert to turn it on. You know, I was, I was, I told him I was going to be on a heater this time. So, uh. okay. Oh, <laughs> he he did stand up like ten times. Oh, really? Oh my God, you have to watch. It's so bad. <laughs> I think I'd rather not. <laughs> I mean, does he seem funny to you? I don't know. I, I don't know you. I've just I've just met him. So just based I, on his energy now. Uh, I feel like he has a, a good sense of humor. Yeah. Okay. He good. A, he has yeah, a yeah. good funny disposition. Yeah. All right. Good vibes coming yeah. off him. Yeah. 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 Do you think he fucks good? Uh man, it's I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about that tonight <laughs> when I'm in the van with the priest. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know how people Bug? plow. You yeah, know? yeah. You you say plow. Yeah, plow. Plow yeah. is the is the scientific term. Yeah, yeah plow is just term. more organic. It's I've like, always said that plow through pussy. Yeah. Oh, plow is the correct term. Thank you for saying that. What? How do you say the whole thing? When <laughs> plow through pussy, <laughs> when a man goes through, you know, a lot of sex partners, I just say plow through pussy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. well, you've never heard, heard that? that? Not, you've never no. heard that? <laughs> no. You're either on board or not. What have you heard? Plowing. Well, I've never heard that. <laughs> yeah. But that's... Uh, There's like wild. farming and stuff Im implied mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like yeah, you need like a John Deere tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. If you worry, if you worry... V U O R I, guys. Oh my God, I discovered Yuri because um, I like to be comfortable and I like to wear comfortable things, and everything they make is pure comfort. Well, let me tell you, when Bobby first started doing yoga, like during the pandemic, we couldn't find anything for him um, to do yoga in, mm -hmm. like a men's line of like yoga um, shorts and things that would allow for um, really. Um, bigger movements during workouts. <laughs> bigger movements. That's, bigger movements. We'll say bigger movements. And we stumbled onto this brand, Viore. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, they just have the best stuff. It's high quality stuff. I love every single item in their inventory. Amazing I'm in catalog. Love with it. Great catalog, for sure. And they're, oh my God, they have these lounge shorts. 
these lounge shorts, I swear to you guys, the softest things I have ever put on my body. Everything is designed to work out in this, this clothing, but doesn't feel or look like it. So freaking comfortable, you'll want to wear it all the time. I'm telling you guys, seriously, it's more comfortable than whatever you're wearing right now. The product is incredible versatile. It can be used for just about any activity like running, training, swimming, yoga, et cetera, et cetera, but also great for lounging or weekend errands. And I love to go to like Best Buy and wearing my Viore. Viore is an investment in your happiness. For our listeners, they are offering 20% off your first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash belly. That's V-U-O-R-I dot com slash belly. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but enjoy free shipping on any U.S. orders over $75 and free returns. Go to viore.com slash belly and discover the versatility of Viore clothing. Brooke Lennon. You guys, um, you don't know comfort. You don't know sleeping if you don't have Brooke Lennon uh, stuff in your house. We're a Brooke Lennon household. We have been for years. Mm -hmm. Everything in this home, the sheets, the towels, the loungewear, we are just a Brooke Linen loving household. Brooke Linen launches new products, colors, and patterns all the time for their sheets, towels, and raw robes. Think bold pops of color and adventurous prints with some limited edition collections selling out in as little as one month. Whether you sleep hot throughout the summer or year round, make your entire bed feel like cool side of the pillow with Brooke Linen's signature crisp, breathable classic. Percale sheets and replace your heavy winter bedding with their lightweight comforters for their ultimate breezy light as a cloud feel. And guys, it's not us just saying that. It's 100,000 five-star reviews also saying that around the world. So you don't have to just take our word for it. Just look at the reviews. You'll understand why people love these sheets and why we love them as well. So head over to Brooklyn today to keep your cool at home and on the go all summer long. Go to brooklyn.com, use promo code TIGER20 to get $20 off plus free shipping on your purchase of $100 or more. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Enter promo code TIGER20 for $20 off plus free shipping. And to all my LA folks, you can try and feel the comfort in real life. You can now shop Brooklyn and Sheets towels and more in person at their new Santa Monica store. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've never plowed through pussy before. You know what I mean? I've been inside them. You've plowed. <laughs> I, you've oh. been with many, many, many partners. So yes, you've plowed. Oh, wow. Okay, well, if you, so you're saying plowing is of sex. Yeah, it's just going through a like a, a, a you large know, amount a, of crops. A large number of crops of crops. You have a lot crops. of crops, right? But what I'm saying is, is that but my crops is a smaller land. Mm. It's a smaller farm. It's not like mm. I know dudes that have like these corporate farms and they do massive farms, mm -hmm. irrigation and whatnot, right? And I'm sort of a mom and pop one. Like I do organic. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're yeah. Your stable is smaller. I must yeah. So plowing would be appropriate then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you as a plower. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Is everyone a plower that does it or no? No, 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 no. Oh, good. Thank you. So I'm in an elite level. Yeah, elite. Wait, what a girl, like when the guys are out, we have this type of slang. <laughs> Weird. But when you're out with the girls, like hanging out at, uh, it's you know, the worse. Palm Olive factory or wherever you go. <laughs> <laughs> like where... Like, what are the words you guys used to, to say, like... Horrible you know, things, like, like, like getting what? dick down, catching a dick, skull fuck. Catching a like, dick. Skull, what? Yeah, yeah. just real... Isn't that a character in Thor? <laughs> <laughs> skull <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Wait, really, what? Keep really, going. Listen, it, yeah. I'd say uh, girls are pr way more graphic about um, describing sex than men are with each other. Because yeah. I think that, you know, there's a... Yeah, it's like men do the the bragging. We do the details, like the really graphic stuff to the T. Like, do you have an ingrown hair here? This, that, the, you know, the scooting motion. All of it is being talked about. So, um, oh. you guys do. I, I, it what would break my heart. Yeah, and I feel like you've done this <laughs> about you. Yeah, like you've like dick shamed me. Whoa. I have be never. Be honest with you. Be honest. I only uh, because I genuinely love your penis. I love the way you have sex. I love your penis. I've always had fun having sex with you. I plow, baby. He's a plower. I've always, I've never said anything <laughs> bad about you, which is why we were together for 10 years. Yeah. I have, I talk shit about dudes in the past, usually when they're not nice, when they're not, you know what I mean? Like, you know when you've been used for sex, right? Yeah. 
those dudes, it's fair game. I'll say whatever the fuck I want to say. But no, not about partners. I would never do that. Well, you said fun. That, that, I just, when you say fun, I picture a bunch of children with no legs in a bouncy house. How is he fun sexually? <laughs> like, and that, if he is that, that fun, that, I want some. That doesn't seem fun to me. That's not fun. Yeah. That seems horrifying. But what did, what did you mean fun? I've never heard that <laughs> associated. He, he always had, you know, you can always, I've been with men who I know have watched porn and are trying to mimic or almost orchestrate this like perfect sex scenario. <laughs> yeah. He's never given up. He's been weird in bed. Like he does, he has his own style, his own, his own rhythm. He's just free. He's yeah, free. I'm free, man. You're like what I do on stage. Yeah, yeah I do it in the fucking it bed. It just goes right So while you're having sex, you're like, hey, carrot head, there's a mashed potato in the back of your ass crack. And then, <laughs> bang. Plow? Yeah. Plow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So we but, are uh, kind of the same. Yeah, we're the same in many you ways. You just do it in bed, and yeah. I do it on stage. Yeah, this is how guys talk about it, right? And I always well, like how gentle you are. You're kind of... Well, I'm fucking gentle as fuck. Bro. He's a very really? gentle yeah, yeah. person. What do you mean? Like, hold you? No, no, no. Like, you're not, like... You don't have that, like, machismo, like, Grah! you know? Like, you don't do that. He's you got know? raccoon hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. raccoons? They're yeah, very, they're like... Moving. Yeah, yeah, they're moving. They're very, very... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe a little koala. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's, that's you. Yeah, that's me. Raccoon hands Lee. Yeah, yeah, that's me coming. Ah! Wow, <laughs> with yeah, the yeah. mask on your face. Yeah. But Have you ever some... pussy shamed me? Well, this is what you do. Whoa. Yeah. And I've noticed. I've never talked about this before. Yeah. Right. Is you know when I pull out and I jerk off to come. Yeah. Right. You get into a like a you sit down Indian style. That's not the way you said it. Well, I Native American. Native American style. That? Right. And you look at me, and you tilt your head. Like a dog? Yeah, in like, almost like you're mesmerized by it, but also questioning it. Like, no, it's so I'm joking, I go, oh, I'm about you, to... You, and you know I'm here, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so... <laughs> Did you two up your fly at least, dude? <laughs> yeah, I know you're getting your dicks out, all right? All right, sorry. Oh, dick I know you're a Christian. I'm so sorry, man. I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I was atheist when I walked through the door, but after watching you do your Marcel Marceau mime show over there, I'm ready to walk through a wall and punch Casper in the twat. What? <laughs> So you don't like it when I do that? Just watch? No, but don't look like you're... It's like... <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's like you're watching that... What's that one um, uh, Christopher Nolan movie that's really with, the, with Matthew McConaughey is in it? Interstellar? Interstellar. Inter like you're watching Interstellar. Like, I'd like to explain I don't understand. myself. How about I'm watching in your cellar? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like to explain... Yeah, go ahead. Myself. So I'm jerking off and yeah. you're like looking at me like that. No, it's, it's like this. You know when you're, when you're ready to go... Sorry. You're playing, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> It looks like you have a piece of celery in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Like, at least go like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. I'm like, yeah, all right. Now it looks like you're bouncing a koala on your lap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah, so I'm doing... I, I genuinely like, like, that's that's my kink, I think. I like watching dudes in their most, like, what I think is the blankest moment in their minds that they'll ever be, which is coming. I don't think there's a thought between those eyes when dudes come. <laughs> And I have a kink for that. I'm like, look how fucking stupid he looks right now. And uh, I like it. It turns me on. Do you say that? Like, no, no, no. you no, ever said, look face, how yeah. stupid you look right now? And, and I don't mean it that he's stupid, but really, like, when you're coming, like, biologically, there's nothing going on in your head. Whoa, wait a minute now. So I <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, wait a minute. You, that's not true for you. No. I think a philosophical thing. Like? Yeah. yeah. Like Sartre. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the, the, the play No Exit. <laughs> Right. 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 You know, you're right. And hell is people. Mm. Right? Is that the last line of yeah. no exit? Hell is other people. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Dark shit. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean. Nihilistic what do, shit. What do girls think of when they're having their big well, O? Same thing. Nothing. What do you think of Harlan? When I finally do the big O. Do one? <laughs> I'll let you know. I haven't, oh. haven't done it yet. <laughs> Virgin. <laughs> I'm, sa I'm saving myself. You are? Yeah. You are? Saving S myself for the mortician. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Hopefully he can get me one just as my eyes finally close. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you something. No so thanks, don't... I'm busy. <laughs> what? But you've never masturbated? Whoa, guy. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. What the... What in the name of Donny Osmond's left ass cheek is going what? on here? <laughs> uh, sorry, dude. I thought I could cross certain lines and barriers, bro. I don't know. that. See, if we were out alone just having donuts at Winchell, <laughs> I wouldn't let you ask me that. <laughs> I know, right. Right? Right. You can ask it, but there's a lot of stuff I will never talk about. It's sex. No, just a lot. There's a lot of th- topics. Like what? What what, what, you, what will you talk about? I won't talk about my marriage, my old marriage. Ah. You know? there's, there's just things that are sacred things, you know? Some, right. Some things are sacred. That, but but that's what's interesting about you guys. You guys are so open. It blows my mind. <laughs> We're learning that things need to be sacred, It's not though, good. Because it's at a cost, for sure. It is at a cost. That's why I keep stuff in, but... I'm also jealous, I'll be honest, I get jealous of people that can just be so blatantly wide open. Yeah. Because it, in a way, it's very freeing. It's very releasing because you're not putting up any psychological walls or barriers. Like, it, it, it blows my mind. And I, I'm jealous of it, but I'm also, like, freaked by it. But that's why watching this, I feel like, <laughs> fuck the flat screen. This is, this is like, <laughs> the best Netflix show I've ever seen yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, we're not together anymore. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're not. Oh, we were broke up. Sorry. Yeah. We broke oh. up. So why can't we? Can we do it now or? Do you can do what? <laughs> Expose ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you, you you are. I mean, holy shit. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. But I think that maybe that was the root of some of our problems. Do you think? Is it that we yeah. we let the world? We gave too much, I think, of our relationship to and, the world. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah. because then it's not yours anymore. Right. The, mm-hmm. Intimacy is like it's like a little ball of fire that burns inside you, mm-hmm. and, if, and it's like you ever see those candles that you can close the and they're inside. Like you put a candle in a thing and close it, and yeah. it's glowing. Yeah. That's intimacy, but when you open that door and everything just flows out to the world, but the candle's still burning. Yeah, but it you're, the heat's dissipating and the mm-hmm. light's dissipating, and it's it's not your little warm little burning ember anymore. It, and it's it's again, I'm not saying it's bad to share it to the world, but you're right. I think there's a cost to it. But then I would throw back at you. Please. Is there a cost to not opening up to the world? It, it's that's that's the thing about the human mechanism, right? You just we're never going to know the answers to these things. But I, I like your the way you do it, where it's like you are open, but certain things are sacred. Yeah, and um, I wish I had learned that lesson a little bit sooner because I think we you can still be relatively open and giving of yourself without letting a hundred of your a hundred percent of your life be up for consumption Cause, yeah because there's two schools of thought one you're creating fodder for people right, right? Yeah. So you, you've got all these people that are really guarded and they're using your openness as fodder just as entertainment or as a spectacle and then the other thing is if you kind of give too much of yourself away, then what do you have to give each other anymore? That's ex- you know what? Uh, That's exactly. Uh, uh, oh, you're right. <laughs> you fuck. We did it. We should have done it. We, fucked we did up. it. We fucked it up. No, no, I'm not saying. No, you're right. No, we no. fucked it up. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No. Hey, Arlen. No. Arlen. Okay. We yes, it up. yes, she we did. We should have done it differently. No. We fucked it up. No way. Yeah, but let me. See. Yes, way. No. But let me say something. I wouldn't change it for the world, baby. That's what I was just gonna say. You can't. It's it. You it's can't a, change the program. I uh, listen. I am who I am. Yeah. And um. I use podcasting to vent. It's gotten me in trouble. You know what I mean? I've, I've said enemies of mine on air that are in show business, and now they're blocking me on Instagram. You know what I mean? Yeah. I use it as a way of venting 
and 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 expressing my frustrations. But I but. beg of you, I beg of you, whoever you um, see next in a serious way in a serious relationship, I beg of you not to. do I'm never what you seeing did anybody with again. You can't say that. You're my you last one. That. You're my last and final. You're saying that now. That's fine. You're the last chapter of that book. But in the beginning, when you, um, when I wasn't even <laughs> podcasting yet, you would give a lot of information about me. Like that was that was I never gave you permission to talk about. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. The abortion. No, more than just oh, that. God. Like the color of my pussy and things like that. I am sorry. <laughs> it's a beautiful color. Um, you, you can't color. find that color in the crayon box. Are you serious? <laughs> well, are you serious? Well, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful color. I got to know what color it is now. <laughs> it's like a magenta-ish peach. Oh, wow, that's peach like a Caribbean magenta. sunset. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. yeah that's exactly Have you ever had a flamingo fly across your... <laughs> front of your... Sometimes. I do oh, notice yeah, that. yeah. Uh, I just want to blow a conch shell and watch you dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful one. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, it's a vacation. Yeah. It is. When I look yeah. at it, it's like I feel relaxed. Uh, I can hear birds chirping. Oh. You know what I mean? You know, it's called Club Med Sex, right? Yeah, there. dude. Oh. So, but you're right. I did things, and I'm never going to do that again. But then I did the same thing. Like, um, as soon as I. He was like, it's just be free, Kalila, be free. So then I bought into it, and then I started to mimic exactly how he was, which is, well, fuck it. I might as well. Now that it's out there, I'm just going to, you know, put it all out there, too. And uh, But what was, the, what was the, the drawback to it? What was the, the effect that you didn't like? Exactly like you said. You give it all away to other people, what is left for each other. Like oh, so they use information that you said at one point because everyone can go back and then they use it against you, right? And it's like, um, yeah, and th there's certain things that are like personal, right? That I don't want to people to use, but they they are using these personal things that I f have real deep feelings about mm -hmm. against me and making fun of me about it, and it hurts even more because it's like number one, I'm the one that put it out there. And it's also, when it's personal like that, it just hurts more. People can go online, I don't think you're funny. That's just your opinion, right? But when there are people, people are using like personal things that I have said about our past or this and that, that hurts, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's like- But that's also our fault. That's what I'm saying. That's why, you. I, honest, I honestly believe I'm never going to see anybody else again. I really do. I honestly do you believe, you believe that, Harlan? No. I uh, thank you. Here's why. Yeah. Why? Because you don't have any control over that. Thank you. Oh, I do. You, no, you don't. No, Here's you why, don't. Why, 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 I'll why? tell you why right now. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't stop my mouth. Like, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Or rape. <laughs> <laughs> Here's why, bro, Safiosh. Okay. Let's stop. <laughs> Better help. Now a word from our sponsor, Better Help. You guys, yeah, I talked about Better Help all the time. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. You guys, I know, you know, in this day and age, after COVID, the pandemic, things are rough for people. People get sad. I have a lot of trauma, a lot of weird things I have to work through. I go to Better Help. Better Help is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. Mm. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. And trust me, on some days that is me. I don't want to get out of bed. I want to stay in a dark room and being able to just grab my phone and talk to somebody who will help me through my difficulties of that day has been such a godsend. It's more affordable than in-person therapy, trust me. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. And yeah, guys, we just really want, uh, we encourage you to give uh, BetterHelp a shot. Uh, like Clara said, therapy is essential. And we really believe that here. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash belly. You guys, it's going to save your life. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash belly. And once again, guys, that's 10% off your first month if you use betterhelp dot com slash belly. Okay. Let's <laughs> stop. You're my friend. Yeah. You're, you're a charming dynamic. And I'm, this isn't, I'm not blowing smoke. This is just who you are. You're a charming, dynamic, magnetic guy personality, essence, and energy. And as much as you want to repel the world or girls or your family or whatever, like a moth to a flame, 
people are drawn to that energy, to that light. And someday, a girl, if that's what you're trying to block out, a girl will be drawn to that light very powerfully, maybe the way you were. Yeah. And you will sense that girl's energy. She will come into the light, and you won't be able to resist that energy. You, you will let her like to the light. Like that candle, though. Like the candle you talked about uh, with that little mechanism that it's inside, right? I'm just not going to open that thing, oh. right? That thing is going to be I, locked. I say you will, though, because she, her energy will cause that door to slowly open. Right. But what if I have a different, another, what if it's under two different walls? I think, and I'm blocking energy as well. I think everyone says that, but I think there's always a person comes along that knows but how it, to melt the ice. But it, can I, I, I agree. I, I don't know. I and agree. thank it, it's a beautiful thing. It's not a beautiful thing, and it horrifies me. No, it's great because a lot of the times when don't you want, don't no. want to fall in love and you put up those walls and paper up the windows is exactly when that person that's strong enough to get through I cannot, does. I can't, no, let me, I, you're about to say, note that. Just, I just have to refute you, okay? Mm-hmm. Please refute I me. cannot wait. I can't, because I, I've thought about this. People say this, you're not the only macho man that has said this. Oh, 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 oh. He's on butter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to say macho man. Right? <laughs> yeah, all For time. every action, all there's an equal and opposite <laughs> oh, reaction. <laughs> That was ultra fucking God. macho. And anyway, button back up, thanks. Yeah. Um, well, but you I've got had, your fly open. I mean, I, I, it's okay. But okay. I, I, everyone, people have said, guys have said this to me, right? Because I've I've said this privately to be like, I have no interest at all. I no longer, no more, right? Right. And I can't wait five years from now, right? I'll run into you again, Harlow, right? At the club in the back, and I'm gonna look at you and I go, it's been five years, not one person. Yeah. But will you it, believe me then? I will, but it could be the next day after you right. say that that it happened. Then 20 years from now. Then 20, 21 years after that. But Someone will get... never-ending <laughs> fucking thing. It's like yeah. one of those circus mirrors. It's you're a human, man. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. How fun was it, though, when we first met and fell in love? Why would you deny because I don't, yourself I that know. experience again? That was, Bobby, regardless of how painful this ended... We had a blast for ten years. Yeah, we built this amazing thing together for ten years. Why would you? Why would you deny yourself the opportunity to create a new chapter in your life? Because I now have seen all three of the Star Wars movies, and oh, that's the thing, right? The first one, the one that J.J. Abrams won, was pretty good, mm-hmm. and I'm like, this is the relationship, right? And then the second one came, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Ah, not great. Third one. Even, you know, so you see the whole series, right? So I'm cool. What's the first one called? The Force, Force Awakens. Awakens. Yeah. You know what I mean? In the beginning, I, I, I love The Force Awakens. Yeah. You know what I mean? I do, right? But I've seen The Return of the Jedi. The Last Jedi. And The Last Jedi. So that's my point. I don't want to see all of them. If they were all The Force Awakens, right? But then you'd have to leave two years in. And I don't want to do that. I did that before you. Every relationship. I talked to Sarah the other day. My, you know, Sarah Highland, yeah. the ex, right? And I go, two years. I, that was it. But Kalila was 10 years, right? I saw the full movie. And um, I just don't want to go through that again. But what if it doesn't end the same way, Bob? It will. Why do you say that? What if it's a completely different storyline? Not even the Star Wars. What if it's because Star I ha- Trek? I'll, what I'll, if be, it's I'll give you Gen? an example. I would... You love every single episode of Next Gen. It's so many episodes. No, what if I, not it's every Next single Gen. I went to Rite Aid last night mm-hmm. and I ate medieval uh, medieval madness, the ice cream. I don't mm-hmm. know that. Right? I've tried every Rite Aid flavor. <laughs> right? And I've had <laughs> I've had medieval madness before. I don't like it. But yeah, I did have it you again. had birthday cake remix? I did. Great. Okay. Right? But sometimes I'll get that. Sometimes I'll get the chocolate chip pistachio. That's how I'm like with pussy. Okay. All right. So Have it's, you had the uh, green and brown blob on the floor in aisle six by the <laughs> I don't think you've had that. I haven't had that. I, have. I haven't had that. It's got ants in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My point is, is that, you know, I just, you know, there's, I think by just being a male, maybe I want variety. Oh, that's fine. Maybe okay. I, I think all males are like that. I think some of them get locked in, and they have these d- dutiful things, and they have, 
they're part of, you know, you're an institution, like you're married, you're part of this thing, and this agreement, but I don't think that's instinctually what you want to do. I think, George, you have a marriage, you have a t another kid on the way, congratulations. I, th love, I think your first kid is beautiful. Um, I haven't met the second one yet, but my point is, is that, um, I'm sure it's great, but, um, <laughs> might be a little silly, but, um, <laughs> yeah, but my point is, is that I'm pretty sure, you know what I mean, I hope your wife is not listening, but during the live set that one night that we did the live, there might be some girls there that you probably were eyeing, like, I wish in a different universe that I could plow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's that word again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, go ahead. You're, you're, you're saying you're open to fooling around with girls. You're just saying you're Maybe. not going to get in deep with a girl, is what you're saying. That's what I meant. You're Maybe not going to fall in love. Deep a deep thing. I still think you're right. Yeah, that's the thing. You you doing all this talking, but I'm telling you, bro, you have no control. When that one girl walks through the door and kicks your walls down, you, you're helpless. Has that happened to you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's all I want to know. I went over, I lived in Germany for a while. When? Uh, this was in uh, the late, the mid-80s. I lived in Germany. You did? And I'd just gone through a huge breakup, and I went over to Germany. And I said, man, I just said everything you just said. Mm. And I grew, I'd never had a beard. I grew a beard out to try and look gruff and look, look like uncapped and everything I could do to keep girls away. And I had, I'd turn all the radar off. I wasn't like, you know what I mean? You dim down the, the, the energy vibe for women. And, and, uh, I was working in computer animation, and there was this guy who was teaching us, this, this guy who worked at the company I was at. And oh, fuck, <laughs> every night, his girlfriend would come and pick him up. And yeah. she was stunning. She was like a, a young Faye Dunaway with long blonde hair, German, like just unbelievable. I had nothing. I didn't want anything to do with her. And we were all at a party one night, and yeah. I was just at the party. And I'd been around her for a few months, and I was at the party. And you ever have that feeling when someone's looking at you and you can just feel it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm at the party, and I'm just going, what the fuck is going on? And I, <laughs> I could feel it, and I look, and all of a sudden I looked across the room, and this girl was just staring at me like Carrie's mother. <laughs> like it, <laughs> it was just like this look that was like, I love you. And I just flew across the room, and I go, what, what are you doing? And it was on. Wait, I thought she was dating some other guy. She was. Whoa. It just, she found me, the two moths flew into the light, and it was, it was, I didn't want anything to do with it, especially I was overseas. I didn't want to find a girlfriend over in Germany. Maybe yeah. Emotional. Yeah. It was, it was like, boom. How long did you see her for? I was there for about a year and a half, and the final... The final night we were together, we had to drive up to uh, Hamburg for a film festival. And it was the most romantic setting you've ever seen. So they were at this, it was nighttime, outdoor film festival. And in this water fountain in Hamburg, they set up this huge screen, like must have been 80 feet across, 60 feet high, gigantic. And an old black and white Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton movie was playing. And we're standing there kind of up against the wall and, and it was it was just there in the background and it was me and her and I said I said, Baby, I'm going to America. I'm I'm moving to Hollywood in two days. And I said, I gotta know right now, do you love me? And she said, I love I love you. And I said, Well, one of us has to move. Me or you. Like and it was just, it was so incredible, this this movie playing in the background. You could hear the voices and you could see it. And they were like, you know, 90 feet high, these Elizabeth Taylor. It was wow. just, but it was exactly what you're saying. Like, I, I is that went how big there. she is? <laughs> She's 90 feet. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> but it was, it was, anyways, my point is, I, I tried what you tried. And, and at some point. Someone just gets through the barrier. Man. I'm I just learned from you just now. What when someone's learn? staring at me, leave. <laughs> oh. But that's what I mean. You can't. I will. You're, it's like a I tractor beam. No. You Once can't. I get that, to me, th those are pain eyes. <laughs> <You're>, that's <laughs> a different eyes. That's a different stare. The love stare is... It to me, love and pain eyes are the same eyes. No. Bro. 
No, 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 yeah. guy. You'll see, guy. guy. 21 years, guy. Guy. Love you. Love you. Yeah. See you at Carl's Jr. in half an hour. Curly fry. <laughs> It's going to happen. All right, if you yeah. say so. But be happy about it. About know? what? About finding that next person. Everyone here, it's it's mm-hmm. a beautiful thing. We, it, ours is so recent. Yeah. It's a month, and we still live together. Oh, okay. Sleep on the same bed. We watch things. We've been watching the boys. Yeah, but night. I've reconciled with the fact that, like, with what you're saying, it's like, at some point, I want to move on with my life, you know? Yeah, and, you'll have the same thing. And even though I feel really grim about it now, I do believe that, I will have another chance at another story. He's, both of you and will. So That's will the beauty you? of life. My story is done. Short story. No. It's, I remember my... Essay, essay. When my grandmother... <laughs> my grandmother was very religious. She, she, she was, her husband died. I think he was in his 70s. My grandfather died right at his death. She went to pick him up every day. One day she went. She went in. He was face down on his desk. Is this real? Yeah. This is real. Wow. My grandfather, Neil O'Donnell. And... She was very religious, and she said, I will never see, be with another man. Neil was my whole life, and we all believed it. We were How like, old was she at the time? Oh, she had to be in her 70s. Wow. And we were like, oh, yeah, but Nanny will never, ever. like we. And two and a half years later, she had a boyfriend named Clyde who had a little chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't believe it. And, and I was I was sort of sad, but I was like, man, that's life. It just, you can't shut it off. It just, love just keeps coming. Sometimes it takes years or months or weeks, but they it'll pl- find they, you, kid. They plowed? And, and if it doesn't, I will, I, will, I, will, you, you'll love. I will love you. I will, <laughs> not sexually, but we'll go camping. We'll you know, go. you do Burning Man, right? Yeah. Yeah. I thought the deal was you were going to take him to his first Burning Man. Oh, the last time. Right. Do you want to go? Yeah, I, last time you were here three years ago, we yeah, talked about I, you never invited me one fucking time. COVID hit. They shut it down. Have you been there? Is there no. it still going? It's This is the first year back. And when is it? It's uh, September. It's uh, August. Uh, last week of August, first three days of September. When are you going to go? I'm trying to get tickets. You have to get tickets to go to the desert? Yeah. Oh, it's not easy to... getting tickets. Yeah. It's not easy to get to Burning Man. Mm-hmm. Well, you got to buy tickets. At, why? And who, is there a guy that's like, oh, uh, tickets, please? No, there's a, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lottery. They do a lottery to win the tickets. It's, it's a process. What if you just don't, if you just showed up, you can't go you in? You can't go in. It's, it's a process. You, you're lucky to get tickets to go to Burning Man. Oh, so there, there's a year that you, you Harlan Williams, won't, won't be able to get in? Yeah. There's a year when a lot of people can't get in. But if you really want to go, you got to kind of plan for it. I have to shoot Esther's movie. That's right. I can't do it. Can we talk about your movie now? So I've been going to the comedy store. Yeah. And Harlan's been going, hey, pal. Hey, guy. (laughs) I'm doing a movie. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm always like, cool, whatever. (laughs) You know, I'm like, yeah. He's like, I want you to be in it. Is it real? The movie is real. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, when are we shooting? So we're right now we're debating between shooting in September or in the spring. It's in flux right at this moment because uh, there's just some issues with the producers, but there's money there, scripts there. I sent you the script. Yeah. And uh, you don't have to tell me now if you want to do it or if you like I, it. I'm, but I'm already fucking in, dude. You are? That one Maybe. time... You picked me up to do your yeah. movie, and you drove me to the desert, yeah. and I'd be in a trunk. Yeah. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. And I didn't get any money. Yeah, that was a Friends thing. This should be like... <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, if I'm going to do a fucking Friends thing, I'll do a real thing, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's in, it, it's supposed to happen, but I don't have a direct answer right now, but it's it, in all likelihood it is, yes. Oh, so, so. You, there's, there's a percentage that it might not happen. There's there's a percent no it's gonna happen but it's whether we do it in two months in oh, September right, right or we have to wait till the spring yeah so you wrote it I wrote it yeah when during the pandemic it's funny I wrote it twelve years ago wow. wow and we got everything up and running and then the bottom fell out and then twelve years later it came back and and now it looks like we're gonna go so now wh- wh- I mean is do you have other people cast in it already or no. Uh, we have one other guy that wants to do it. I can't say his okay, name. Okay, all right. Yet. I'll tell you after. All right, big guy. 
Uh, he's big in the comedy world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah, yeah. You you probably love him. He's he's amazing. And yeah, he's perfect for the part. So oh, awesome. He says he wants to be on board, and uh, so and then the rest of the casting, I've gone to you. I sent it to Sherry O'Terry at SNL. Oh yeah, yeah. and uh, I just want to bring in all the funniest people I know to you know to make it rock and roll. Yeah, I, I am going to read it. I haven't read it. I know that's okay. I know I got it, but can I say something? Yeah. Is there is it a, a linear storyline? Because coming, if yeah. you wrote it, I'm pretty sure there's a forest in it and there's creatures. Is it? <laughs> no, it's actually very linear. It's a, so here's the premise. It's called Wingman. Uh huh. And it's about a professional wingman who helps guys pick up oh, girls or oh. pick up gu- or pick up guys. Oh yeah. wow, wow! And so the wingman's kind of this over the top Austin Powers, you, Ace Ventura you. type guy. It potentially could be me, it has but to we're be you. we're trying to get. That's what's slowing it down. We're trying to get a big name like Jim Carrey or Jack Black or someone uh, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what's slowing us down at the moment. Are you but directing it? I'm directing. Oh, it. okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my God. And so the movie's about this this over the top guy who helps this guy who's gets dumped by his fiance three weeks before the wedding. He hires this maniac and he turns his world upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's congratulations, man. Thanks. I'll do it. What, Bro, I'm going to fucking do it. Dude. Oh, thank you. What, am I playing a Chinese guy in it or? No, no, you're just, you're, you're <laughs> you, well, I mean, you're, you're playing you. Yeah. The, Korean guy. Yeah. The, it's just Bobby. There's no, there's no. There's no like ethnic thing attached to it. You're just a. If I want to do an Asian accent, would that be weird? Or no, if you want to. Hello, I'm Bobby. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Director? I just, I just want to extract the, whatever's the best comedy. No, I'll just play I, my, I'll play myself. Yeah. that'd be interesting to see Asian actors now go back to doing <laughs> wanting to do accents. You know, yeah. they're trying to divert from accents. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only Asian actor that changes white roles or regular <laughs> yeah, roles yeah. and <laughs> it does an accent. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, well, I wouldn't. Mind Whatever you want. No, I think. would never do that to my people. Yeah, because you did the Asian accent in the other movie, the first movie. I did. You did. Yeah, in Fudgy Wudgy Fudge. What did I play, you, Kangaroo? Right. You played Kangaroo in O'Reilly, <laughs> and you're a little, you're a little, you played a Chinese guy. Yeah, and yeah. how did I do it? I, you had your hands like <laughs> little kangaroo hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went. I did an accent. Yeah, you did. Like, give me a line, and I'll try to do it. You you did a lot of like Confucius say you used to say stuff like, my father once tell me, if you uh, eat uh, broccoli in the wind, you get Dutch oven for dessert. Oh, or, you know, oh yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think weird, I vaguely remember. You did all these weird like yeah. like Confucius say type of things. Yeah. I just remember it being the weirdest movie. I had to be at you. I went to your house at like four in the morning. It wasn't that early. Five in the morning. It was early. It was early, yeah. Yeah. We had to drive out to And they like get in the car and I and I'm just in in your pickup truck. And we're just driving into the desert. Yeah. There's no crew. Yeah, there was just there there was like (laughs) I sh- it took me six years to shoot it. With, I know, I know. I shot it with my. I know. I'm not making fun of it. I no, do I know. No, for you. you were amazing. But I just like we just you know, imagine just being in a pickup truck with Harlan Williams and you're just yeah. driving in the desert. Yeah. You have no idea what the fuck is going to happen. Yeah. Right. And I just remember being in the desert. Yeah. Why do? Why couldn't it have just been on the four or five? Why did it have to be in the desert? Because we shot most of it out in the desert, and I know that desert really well. Oh yeah, the, from, the the place, burning, from the Burning the, Man's. The place that we shot, I don't know if I ever told you that, but I actually owned that land. That's right, you did tell me. Yeah, you yeah. own that you still own it? I still own it. I bought twenty acres in the middle of the desert. <laughs> and, and so we shot out there. Yeah. And uh it I just wanted that look, that empty, vacuous, right. empty space. And yeah, it was great, man. Do you still talk to that girl from Germany or no? No, no. How did that end? That ended, so we had to do this thing where I had to leave. I said, I said, I got to know, baby. Um, <laughs> I got, I'm, I'm moving to Hollywood. This was just, I was in Germany. Then I made my move to Hollywood. I knew I had to make a run at Hollywood. Yeah. Were you, doing, you weren't doing stand-up at the time. I, I was doing stand-up. I'd been doing stand-up seven years. At that and time. I, and I was ready to go, and I had a sponsor here and because I'm Canadian, so I had a guy who sponsored me in. And Who was uh, that guy? Howard Lapidus. Uh-huh. He recently passed away about two years ago. I'm God sorry, bless man. him. Yeah. But um, he was the guy that opened the door to bring me in. 
And uh, I said to her, I said to her, you know, one of us has to make a move. And she had just finished university. And so she said, I'll, I'll come. She goes, I got to write two more exams and then I'll come. I'll be there in three months. And and so three months turned into six and six turned into nine. And then I went over there to visit a couple of times in between. And every time she told me she was coming, but then broke the date, the light started to fade a little more. In, so every, in me. Every time she, she broke that commitment, the light went dimmer to the point where the last time she did it, I just said, hey, if you're not here at this date, at my front door, I said, I, you know, I waited almost two years for her. Yeah. And I just couldn't do it anymore. And she said, I can't be there. And, and so I said, that's it. And the light went out. And then, of course, what always happens, you know, six months later, she writes to me. This was pre-internet, you know, so it was, it was all letters and phone calls. Yeah. She goes, look, I'm ready to come over. And I'm like, the light's, dead. The, the light's dead. And I said, you know what? We had something so amazing. I was so madly in love with you and you with me. I said, come on over. We'll see what happens. And she flew over, and she's supposed to be there for three weeks. And look, man, when, when we made love, it was like heaven. It was, it was amazing. Yeah. You know? And we slept in the same bed three nights. And on the fourth day, I said, you got to go. Like, oh. well, not not mean, but I said... I don't feel it. Like I couldn't even make love to her anymore. Wow. It was the light was out. Yeah. And it was such a disappointment. But but had she come when the light was the beam between us was still powerful, who knows? I might have been married with kids by now with her, you know, but Yeah, but who's to say that the light w- even if you got married that would diminish? I mean, Yeah, it could have. Yeah, could've. yeah. Yeah. Do you, I, I, what my my question is, does it always diminish the light? The, the the light can dim, but then if if it's a real deep love, I think the light can come back up, or the light can change its glow. Like mm-hmm. like with my parents, they to me on the surface did not look like people who loved each. They were like, "Hey, John, where are you? I'm down here, Lorraine. Now come on, give me my sweater. <laughs> Shut up, waffle tits or whatever." You know? <laughs> but. The, the, but the love they had inside was you could just see it and feel it. Like there was probably no more intimacy or romance, but the love was still there, very powerful, you know? So the, yeah. that light can change, the density of the light. I do have change. to say my love for Kalila will always be there. Great, I love course. her so much. Good. I really do. I do too. And um, yeah. You can't lose that. Yeah, I'm It not. won't go away even if, even, if, even if this was a volatile ending. I tell you, the the love would still be present. Even you know, it might take like five, six, ten years for any animosity to wear off, but the love you have for her is it's locked for eternity. You know, likewise. it's it's um, interesting you said that because the other night when I saw Sarah, yeah, at, it, sitting at the belly room steps because it was a girlfriend of mine, an ex, an ex, and I um she was going through some yeah. depression or whatever, and I just remember listening, talking to her, we hugged, and I was you know kind of. Rubbing her back, and I, you know, I, I thought to myself, she's different than anybody else because my connection with her is on a different level. You right. know what I mean? And I will always love this girl. Yeah. I really will. You know what yeah. I mean? Obviously, I don't have any sexual attraction to her or any of that stuff, but there is something that she's somebody that's like attached to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. You you were always. I love that about you, is when we first got together, like how. When you talked about Sarah, I could tell this was someone like you deeply loved and yeah. respected, mm. and that was a green flag for me. I don't, I don't usually like, I, I wouldn't give you, would have given you the time of day if you were trashing your ex in any way. So yeah, I do believe you love her a lot. Harlan and I, this whole ep- uh, podcast has been winking at each other <laughs> every second, every second. <laughs> <laughs> You've been winking. I have a fucking fly in my eye. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. My bad. Weirding me. Out. And your fly is open. <laughs> my, my bad. Oh. Yeah. Rosephiosh. You know, I, um, it's because the first time you were on, I was like, wow, what a great episode. And this time around, I'm like, why? 
haven't you done it more? Done what? My I, podcast. I mean, you're just so great. Well, thank you. I don't know, there's just something about you that I just... We've wanted you back for a while. Yeah, yeah, we love yeah. you so much. We love you. Wow. Yeah. You well, bring uh, such good energy into thanks, this room. Man. Yeah. Well, I'm not the type that kind of likes to get in people's faces. So I, I, I kind of wait to be invited. And Bobby graciously invited me recently. And I'm, I'm super happy to be here. You know, I'll be honest, Bobby, when you had me on the first time, I did not know about the whole YouTube podcast world. Yeah. I just thought everything was on audio. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know people were filming them and, and do it like I think Adam Carolla was doing it, but it felt more like a newsroom with him. But, yeah. But um, I didn't know like you were the first podcast I did, and I didn't know how how popular that was. I I I I, I went on your um, thing like I swear to God I think about two two years later. Yeah. And like like I looked at a. I looked at some of it when I, I don't usually look at stuff I do. I looked at some of it when it first went on. Yeah. But I looked at it two years later and I, I, I looked at like the numbers it got and I went, geez, this is, this is a whole new, it's a weird, weird world. I was very yeah. naive to all of it. You what know? are you doing? Oh, I'm going to put it up just so you can see how the how numbers many? basically are, it's, um, yeah, it's a lot. How many is it? It is. <laughs> it back. really surprised me. I, I didn't know Skip it was. Back. But oh, I remember this. Yeah. Our old place. <laughs> how much? How many numbers is it? I think it's like four hundred thousand. Yeah, like it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in a way, you and and your buddy Andrew Santino and Rick Glassman, they've had me on, and it's inspired me to put up my own podcast. Yes, the Harlan Highway. The Harlan Highway, dude, check it out. And I'm very kind of uh feeling my way through it. I've only done like 15 episodes yeah. and I'm I'm I got to be honest, I'm a, a little bit out of my element, so I'm I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm trying it, but yeah. you 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 helped inspire that. Oh, Thank man. you. Yeah, I was I was like I would love to do that. Whenever you want me on the yeah. Harlan Highway, dude, I'm there, bro. I want to do it when it's worthy of having you on, so I'm going to try and No, what, what, get it. Why don't we try to help you get it going? <laughs> that's nice, God. That's what I want to do. So I mean, you're like you, you're one of the most my unique. Heart a little. <laughs> uh, let me, I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 I want to say this. Here's how I knew about you. Yeah. When I was in San Diego as an open micer, right? Yeah. They had this guy named Kevin. I don't know what so it was. A guy from San Diego who lived in L.A. Kevin McDonald was his name. You know, you probably don't know him, and because he quit doing comedy. But I remember he would come back to San Diego and he would play the Laugh Factory, right? Yeah. And he would go. I would ask. You know, I was a doorman. It was 1995, 96, and I'd go, "Well, who's the hottest guy there?" And he goes, "Harlan." He would always every time Harlan Williams is the guy there. Where was this? In San Diego. No, when I was in San Diego. I had a friend that would oh, oh. drive up to L.A. Oh, okay. and hang out at the Laugh Factory okay. in Hollywood, right? Wow. And he would tell me, like, <laughs> I think Pablo Francisco was a guy, but you were a guy. Like, your name always came up from him, like, he's the future or whatever, whatever. <laughs> so I always, you were always in my, you know what I mean, in my consciousness as a, as a comedian early on. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Somebody, yeah. you know what I mean? And now that I met you, you're a fucking douchebag. Anyway, uh, <laughs> do we, uh, a real shitbox. You know what I mean? Canadian fuck. On hopeful advice. So we're gonna do a. You know what this is? The people email us ad advice. Oh wow! Okay. And then we an try to yeah. answer them, all right? On hopeful <laughs> advice with Harlan Williams. What's up? This is a simple one. What's up, Tiger Belly fam? So I need some advice, and for some reason, I think Bobby could help with this a lot. I'm from Texas, and it's getting hotter every day. Due to the heat, I am constantly getting swamp nuts. How can I prevent this from happening? Any tips? Swamp, swamp nuts. nuts. Kalala for you as well. Swamp. Whatever. Uh, I'll say do not do the talcum powder thing. It's cancerous, carcinogenic. What about baby powders at the same Don't thing? put baby powder? Uh, talcum. What? Yeah. yeah, don't do that. I like swamp nuts. Yeah. You well, like that's because the you They're don't swampy have, now. You don't have natural crotch scent. Yeah, but they're swampy now. I can feel it like my, my sack right now. It. No, babe, not in front of Harlan. Okay. But my... <laughs> My sack right now is sliding off of my thigh. Yeah. yeah. I just know that there's like a slippery slide thing going on there. Do you have it's lily sloppy. pads on your balls? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? what? Well, they're always in a swamp, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah. No lily pads, man. Okay. Yeah. 
But um, you know, like they sweaty. Is that what he's saying? Yeah. yeah. What does swamp balls mean, man? They sweaty. It's like swamp ass when you have like a you know swampy ass. It's a swampy but ass. Your balls are wet. My balls are wet because of the heat. Yeah. How do you deal with it? Are you? Wanna- I just let it be. I because- think this guy's jeans are probably too tight. Like he's probably wearing like tight jeans or yeah. something. Oh. Right. You gotta let let the air in there a little. Oh yeah. When we wear shorts. Yeah. Boxers. Or you could do like you, like just keep your fly open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, are, do, do your nuts get swampy? No, man. Really? No. Never. No. Swamp ass? No, no. Wow. It's weird. I yeah, I don't I don't get all even when I do sweat, I don't I don't like stink. Like I don't have body odor. Like I oh, you're cool. wow. I can sweat like crazy and wow. I, I don't reek. Yeah, I don't know why. I should, but yeah. it, it's weird. My question to you, when are you going to have your next pool party? That's a good I almost was thinking of doing it on July 4th, but I just, I don't know. I wasn't in the mood yet. COVID's kind of made stuff a bit weird. Yeah. But um, I think we got to do one soon. Summer's here. Would you Would you want to come up and have, have do a splash fucking, around? Let's and, splash around, Ed. Yeah. I'd love to come up there and splash with you. You just want to wash off your swamp ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I like your pad though. It's cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Please, yeah. <laughs> Come on up. There's a fly in his eye. Yeah. <laughs> Do you recommend anything that? Have you seen anything good that you like? Did you see the Maverick? Oh yeah, no, no. Forget the Maverick. Go see what's it called? Everybody, everything, everywhere. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. You know, it's so funny when I watched that. I was like, this is Har- like Harland esque. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's, it's so, so cool. brilliant, yeah, man. and fun, and it's like, imagine even like pitching that to a, a st- studio. Yeah. I mean, you would like I wouldn't be able to get that sold. Here, give me the log line. How would you pitch it? What's the elevator? Pitch? I can't even. It's like um, a Chinese lady who has a laundry mat, <laughs> right? Okay, with her husband. Have you seen it? Yeah, 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 and. There's an alternative reality, like different dimensional real- realities. Multiverse. Multi. Thank you. Are you the executive in the room? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, a multiverse. Bzzz. And yeah. um, it just goes in and out of these multiverse. I mean, that's how I would probably pitch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very complex, it's very, very complex. multi-layered. Yeah. And then what I love about it is just when you think it's kind of hit its... It's plateau. Yeah. Suddenly there's a new scene where you're like, whoa, I did not, like, I won't give it away, but the scene in the desert with the two rocks. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. all this action, and then I won't say what it was, but then all of a sudden you're there, and yeah. you're like, so it just keeps giving. It's one of these movies it, where- It's a brilliant piece of it's art. It's really yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, even Andrew Santino, it's an art house movie. Even Santino, this dodo head, this- dim-witted, red-headed dodo head who doesn't know anything about art or nothing. Yeah. Right? It was like, it was brilliant. And when that f- dumb... I, I want to say the R word, but I can't. You know what I mean? The what word? The R word. You know, when they're... Anybody, oh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, when this ding-dong goes, hey, you should watch this, I was like, it's got to be good. Because he's so stupid. <laughs> what a fucking stupid idiot. He's in Italy right now. Stay there. Look, he looks like he's having a blast. Fuck him. Yeah, but that's what dumb people do when they see eat ice cream or uh, with ice cones. Well, not when they have the ice and the the, the flavors. Gelato? Flavored ice. Or shaved ice. The shaved ice. That's what I'm trying oh, to say, okay, right? Yeah. He 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 he's he enjoys it. <laughs> <laughs> you got him, baby. Yeah, I got him. Burn right in your face, dude. You fucking dipshit. Wow. Enjoying ice. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking stupid Italian. Movie. Have you been to Italy, guy? Guy, I haven't. Don't need to, guy. Why not? Don't you like lasagna? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can get lasagna here, guy. Guy. All right. God, settle down. <laughs> oh, dude, don't get combative with me, Chacho. Wow. I can I uh, drop a little thing about my charity? I ever yeah, yeah, follow sure. it as a charity. Yeah, go ahead. So, um, this is. It's tough to talk about, but it's uh, it's, a, it's about a allergy. Uh, it's called Cinnamon Angels Fly Fly Away, and it's for children that have uh, cinnamon allergies. And uh, it's all the money goes to. <laughs> okay, well, 
<laughs> I'm just, I, it's, I don't know if that's a real thing. Or not. And it made me, it made me laugh because I'm It made me. Is that a real thing? I, I can, yeah, you can Google it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can we just cut Dude, that off? There's probably a I know, child we, oh, I, I, right now I with swollen ankle. All right, all right, all right. Can we just start over and say it again? And I'm so sorry. That was the fucking my bad. I'm so sorry. No worries. No, thank you. Right, thank you. So cinnamon angels fly, fly away, and it's for children with cinnamon allergies and. We take the money, and if you want to just send it to, I have a, a P.O. box, and if you can just uh, send checks, certified checks to uh, my P.O. box, we'll give the address later, and uh, the money all goes to these kids. They get uh, cinnamon and they, their ankles. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? All these children. They're An suffering. Ankles. <laughs> Their ankles pop out. <laughs> the ankles, it's, the, it's the ankles. Is that a real? Is that a real? Is it that is a, the ankles? Is it a real? Are you thing? allergic to anything? No. Okay, then you but, shouldn't but, laugh. But there's so many other. Uh, just can I just ask a couple of questions? There's just so many other charities that seem like that should be on the forefront, like cancer and other things. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's what. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, fuck. Wow. My, no, my bad. My bad, dude. My bad. So just say the P.O. box thing again. So it's Cinnamon Angels Fly, Fly Away, P.O. It's a ridiculous name. Cinnamon Angels <laughs> Fly, Fly Away. I'll tell you how this yeah, started. I'll tell you how that started. Yeah, tell me how. Fly, fly, why, why the Fly, Fly Away? Tell me how I'm that I'm getting a little mad here, but I'm so we, sorry. I was at LAX at the airport, <laughs> and they have a Cinnabon. The the the, the Cinnabon thing, and his mother was walking along with her child. And you know how you can smell those Cinnabons in the airport? And this kid collapsed on the ground Thank right in front of Cinnabon and was convulsing and fucking having a seizure. And uh, I was like, I'll be goddamned if I ever have that happen on my watch. So I started uh, Cinnamon, Ange Cinnamon Angels Fly Fly Away. You know what? No, I'm sorry. Wow. No, man, I don't know. So maybe change the name. Really? Fly fly away doesn't make any sense because it was an airport. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's oh, not why. I didn't know and when they die, they fly fly away <laughs> on a cloud of cinnamon. <laughs> okay. So check that out. <laughs> check, stay tuned to that. How do you how do you say stay tuned or what do you say check that uh, out? Check it out. It, yeah. No, no. Um, no, no get in. involved. Get involved. Get involved. Yeah. Cinnamon, cinnamon. No. Two cinnamons? One, one cinnamon. One cinnamon. One. Cinnamon, yeah. cinnamon girls. Angels. Cinnamon, cinnamon white, angels. Uh, angels fly, 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 fly away. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so go check that out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Any other charities? Are you good? No. The only other thing I'd mention is my T-shirt. I have a website called harbling.com, and yeah. you can go and buy your own hand-drawn T-shirt. That's amazing. If you, if you want to get one. How long does each one uh, take for you to draw? You know what? Some of them take a lot. Yours took a long time because it was all the stripes and everything. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to make it nice for for my friend, but uh, so yeah, there's some of them. Like yeah, that. yeah. And uh, and basically, if 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 the if the original prints, uh, the original one sold out, we make prints of them. Huh? But I won't make prints of that one because it's your show. Yeah, it's yeah. Only yeah. if you want to make prints of it, you can. But I won't. This make, is amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, so. And you, it's medium, like you asked me, because yeah, you asked me what size. What size, yeah. Fucking amazing, dude. W would you really wear it? Of course. I'm going to wear it at the comedy store next Are you? Back to back. That would make my day, That'd be great. Man. So go to Harbling. Yeah, Harbling.com. How much does a handwritten shirt cost? A hand-drawn shirt, they're, they're anywhere between like 80 bucks and 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Because they're like, you're basically wearing a piece of art. Right, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they must take forever, no? Some of them do. Like the Kiss one took a long time. Yeah, that's you got to charge 500 bucks for that. No, I didn't. I was like, I think that was like 200 bucks. And yeah. the, and the somebody graveyard bought one. Yeah, those are all sold, those ones. Kung Fu Carrot didn't take quite as long, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's one on there that I, I don't know if you can scroll down, but there's yeah, a, one down. of the real popular ones. Keep going down. Yeah. There it is. It's Death Eating His Favorite Cereal Life. Like, <laughs> wow. Like that. That's like so that. fucking cool. 
<laughs> that that one really went over with. So we have prints of those, and you can get them on coffee That's mugs. That's amazing, and all that. dude. Yeah, yeah, thanks, buddy. And do, do people go? I want this, and you draw that. Sometimes people put requests in, and I'll yeah, draw go, it. But, yeah, go scroll. Also, they do coffee mugs. Yeah. But I try, I try to just do stuff out of my imagination. You know? Ah, but it's just really original and weird and, and fun. That's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, give Harlan Williams a round of applause. Woo! Amazing. Yeah. Yeah.